Welcome to MA Tech. Today, we're diving into everything you need to know about the Samsung S25 series, from exciting new features to the latest leaks. The excitement around the Samsung Galaxy S25 series continues to grow as leaks keep surfacing. With the expected launch in January, leaks are unlikely to slow down. Recently, two new images have appeared online, shedding light on the possible design of the Ultra variant. These leaks are adding to the anticipation for Samsung's next big release. One of the most significant changes expected in the Galaxy S25 Ultra is the shift toward a more rounded design. This alteration aims to enhance the overall comfort of holding the phone. Leaks have suggested that the Ultra model will adopt a shape that feels more ergonomic, making it easier to use, especially for long durations. While the overall design of the Galaxy S25 Ultra is set to change, the rear camera design is expected to remain largely the same. Based on reliable information from the well-known tipster ICE universe, users shouldn't expect a major overhaul of the camera layout. The familiar design is expected to carry forward into the next iteration of Samsung's flagship. ICE Universe, a trusted source for Samsung leaks, has been at the forefront of sharing early insights about the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Their recent post confirms that while the shape and feel of the phone will be more user-friendly, the camera module will retain its recognizable look. This consistency in design ensures that Samsung keeps its identity while still offering modern enhancements. A new leak has surfaced, supposedly showing a case designed for the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. The case design features six holes, just like the current Galaxy S24 Ultra model. These six openings include four for the cameras, one for the flashlight, and another for the laser distance meter that supports autofocus. This leak gives further insight into how the Ultra version might look, giving us a good idea of what to expect from the rear panel design. For a clearer understanding, let's look at the Galaxy S24 Ultra's camera setup. The S24 Ultra is equipped with an impressive 200 megapixels wide camera, a 10 megapixels telephoto lens, a 50 megapixels periscope camera, and a 12 megapixels ultrawide shooter. Together, these cameras provide an optical zoom of up to 5x. This camera system has been a standout feature of the Galaxy Ultra series, offering great versatility in photography. Despite the similarities in the layout, there has been talk of potential upgrades in the Galaxy S25 Ultra's cameras. While the leak suggests the design won't change drastically, Samsung might introduce enhancements to the sensors and image processing. These improvements could elevate the already impressive photography capabilities, offering users even better results in various shooting scenarios. Though the overall layout of the cameras on the Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to stay similar to its predecessor, this consistency could be intentional. Samsung seems to be focusing on refining internal features rather than overhauling the look. This allows users to get comfortable with the familiar design while benefiting from cutting-edge technology within the camera system. Well-known tipster Ice Universe has released a new rendering that gives us a direct comparison between the current Samsung Galaxy S24 Plus and the upcoming Galaxy S25 Ultra. This side-by-side -side image highlights the changes Samsung might bring to their next flagship, giving enthusiasts a sneak peek into the possible design updates. One of the standout features in the leaked rendering is the noticeably slimmer bezels on the Galaxy S25 Ultra. Rumors have been swirling that Samsung is working to further reduce the size of the bezels, and this image seems to confirm that. The thinner bezels will likely make the S25 Ultra's display feel more expansive, enhancing the overall visual experience without increasing the device size. The rendering also emphasizes the Galaxy S25 Ultra's more rounded corners, something that has been widely discussed in leaks. This rounded design will make the phone more comfortable to hold, addressing some of the sharp edges that users experienced with previous models. The combination of smaller bezels and smoother corners should make the phone feel more refined and ergonomic. The design evolution from the Galaxy S24 Plus to the Galaxy S25 Ultra is subtle yet significant. Samsung seems to be focusing on small but meaningful changes, such as the reduction in bezel size and a more rounded design. These updates will likely make the phone both visually appealing and more user-friendly, setting the stage for another successful flagship release from Samsung. Previously leaked renders of the Galaxy S25 Ultra show little change around the back of the device, maintaining the familiar camera design. However, 
What stands out is the overall look and shape, which aligns more closely with the rest of the Galaxy S25 series. Samsung seems to be striving for design uniformity across the lineup, while still maintaining the Ultra's distinct high-end features. As with past releases, most of the leaks and reports have centered on the Galaxy S25 Ultra rather than the standard or plus models. The Ultra version, being the flagship, often garners the most attention due to its premium features and cutting-edge technology. This trend continues, with most information focusing on the design and capabilities of the Ultra model, leaving other versions in the background for now. One of the key upgrades for the Galaxy S25 Ultra is a marginal increase in screen size, with reports suggesting the display will expand from 6.8 inches to 6.86 inches. While the increase is small, it could further enhance the viewing experience, making the Ultra model even more immersive for content consumption, gaming, and productivity. The Galaxy S25 Ultra's design, while unique in its features, is becoming more consistent with the other models in the series. Samsung's approach to uniformity is likely to strengthen the identity of the entire Galaxy S25 lineup. This consistency in design ensures that whether you choose the standard, plus, or ultra, you'll experience the same sleek, premium aesthetics that Samsung is known for. Samsung's Galaxy S25 and Galaxy S25 Plus are expected to be officially unveiled in January. As we approach the launch date, these devices are slowly making their way through the regulatory processes around the globe. Gaining necessary certifications is a key step toward their eventual release, and both models are being scrutinized by various regulatory bodies worldwide. The recent 3C certification in China has revealed a rather disappointing piece of information for those expecting significant charging upgrades. Both the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus will reportedly retain the same maximum charging speeds as their predecessors. This revelation has dampened some of the excitement surrounding the devices, as many users were hoping for faster charging capabilities in Samsung's latest models. This news suggests that Samsung has opted to stick with the same charging technology used in the Galaxy S24 series for the upcoming S25 and S25 Plus. While other flagship phones have begun pushing the boundaries of fast charging, Samsung's decision to maintain the status quo could leave some fans feeling underwhelmed, especially those who prioritize charging efficiency. Despite this minor letdown, the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus are expected to bring other significant improvements in design, display, and camera technology. However, the unchanged charging speeds may lead users to weigh the trade-offs between these other upgrades and the slower-than-expected charging capabilities. Nonetheless, Samsung's fanbase remains eager to see what these models will bring to the table. The 3C certification has confirmed the charging speeds for both the Galaxy S25 and Galaxy S25 Plus. The Galaxy S25 will support charging at up to 25W, while the S25 Plus will be capable of charging at 45W. Both models will use USB-C for their wired charging, but the wireless charging speeds remain a mystery for now, as the certification didn't reveal those details. Fans will have to wait a bit longer for further information regarding the wireless charging capabilities. The lack of charging speed improvements is just one of the areas where the Galaxy S25 series seems to be stagnating. Both the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus are showing little to no change in design compared to their predecessors. The phones are expected to look almost identical to the Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus, reinforcing the idea that Samsung is focusing on small refinements rather than groundbreaking innovations this time around. With the design of the S25 and S25 Plus mirroring that of the previous models, Samsung seems to be prioritizing consistency. While some users may appreciate the familiarity, others who were hoping for a more revolutionary look might be left disappointed. These similarities suggest that Samsung is content with polishing its existing designs instead of completely overhauling them. Clearly, the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus are not aiming to revolutionize the smartphone market. Instead, Samsung is focusing on refining the features that users already appreciate. While the lack of dramatic upgrades might feel underwhelming to some, the S25 series will likely offer smoother performance, better software integration, and other minor improvements that enhance the overall experience without drastically changing the formula. Samsung is gearing up for the launch of its next flagship series in January 2025. As with previous releases, the Galaxy S25 series will consist of three models, 
the Galaxy S25, Galaxy S25 Plus, and Galaxy S25 Ultra. With excitement building around these devices, the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus have already passed through 3C certification in China, providing us with important details about their charging capabilities. According to a report from GizmoChina, the 3C certification database has confirmed the fast charging specs for both the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus. The Galaxy S25, model number SMS9310, will support 25W fast charging, while the Galaxy S25 Plus, model number SMS9360, will feature 45W fast charging. These numbers align with the charging speeds of their predecessors, signaling that there won't be any significant upgrades in this area. With the Galaxy S25 series offering the same fast charging speeds as the S24 models, Samsung is once again choosing consistency over innovation in this aspect. Both the S25 and S25 Plus will provide similar charging performance to what users have already experienced, with no drastic improvements expected. This decision might disappoint some users who were hoping for faster charging times, but it also ensures stability and reliability. One more detail confirmed by the 3C certification is that, just like the Galaxy S24 series, the Galaxy S25 models will not include a charger in the box. Samsung's decision to exclude the charger is part of its ongoing sustainability efforts, though this continues to be a point of frustration for some consumers. Users will need to purchase a compatible charger separately if they don't already own one. According to recent reports, the Galaxy S25 series will feature varied battery capacities across its models. The Galaxy S25 is expected to come with a 4000 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S25 Plus will offer a larger 4900 mAh battery. The Galaxy S25 Ultra, being the most premium model, is expected to be powered by a 5000 mAh battery, ensuring longer battery life. All models will also support wireless charging and reverse wireless charging, adding to their convenience for power users. A significant feature debuting in the Galaxy S25 Ultra is satellite connectivity, making it the first in the series to include this technology. This innovation will likely allow for emergency communications in areas without traditional network coverage, a feature that could be particularly appealing for travelers or outdoor adventurers. This addition will set the Ultra model apart from its counterparts in terms of advanced features. At the heart of all Galaxy S25 models will be the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 Society a powerhouse chip that promises top-tier performance. This processor is expected to deliver enhanced processing power and efficiency, making the S25 series ideal for gaming, multitasking, and AI-driven features. Samsung's focus on providing cutting-edge technology ensures that these devices will stay competitive in the flagship market. Apart from the Galaxy S25 series, Samsung is also preparing to unveil other devices in the coming months. The Galaxy Tab S10 series, a new line of flagship tablets, is expected to launch later in the month. Additionally, the much-anticipated Galaxy S24 FE is set for release next month, and it's rumored to feature the latest AI advancements from Samsung. These releases indicate a busy schedule for the tech giant, as it continues to expand its product lineup across different markets. The upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 series may not be as revolutionary as consumers had hoped. Recent renders have showcased the new phones, revealing only minor design changes compared to their predecessors. Now, with the 3C certification from China confirming their charging speeds, it's clear that Samsung is opting for consistency rather than major upgrades this time around. As confirmed by the 3C certification, both the Galaxy S25 and S25 Plus will feature the same wired charging speeds as the Galaxy S24 and S24 Plus. The Galaxy S25 will support charging at 25W, while the S25 Plus will allow for 45W charging. This stagnation in charging technology may disappoint users who are expecting improvements in this area, especially as other brands continue to push for faster charging solutions. While wired charging speeds have been established, the wireless charging capabilities remain unconfirmed. Samsung has yet to provide details on whether the S25 models will offer faster wireless charging than their predecessors. This uncertainty leaves potential buyers in suspense, particularly those who prioritize wireless charging efficiency. Adding to the challenges, 
Samsung is currently facing legal action related to allegations of stealing wireless charging technology. This situation could impact the company's reputation and further complicate its efforts to innovate in this area. As the smartphone market grows increasingly competitive, how Samsung navigates these legal hurdles may influence its upcoming product launches and overall strategy moving forward. The 3C certification has confirmed that the Galaxy S25 Ultra will also support 45W charging, mirroring the S25+. Plus. While this charging speed is adequate, it raises some eyebrows given the advancements in charging technology seen across the industry. Many budget Chinese phones are now offering faster charging solutions, which makes Samsung's choice to stick with familiar speeds a bit disappointing. One of the standout features of the Galaxy S25 Ultra is its support for satellite connectivity. This technology is particularly appealing for users who may find themselves in areas with limited network coverage, allowing for emergency communication when needed. This addition positions the Ultra as a powerful and versatile device, catering to users who value connectivity in diverse environments. The biggest design change for the Galaxy S25 Ultra appears to be its transition to rounder edges. While the S25 and S25 Plus maintain a similar aesthetic to their predecessors, the Ultra's updated design aims to enhance comfort during use. Though some users may appreciate this softer look, there are those who believe that the sharp, angular design that defined Ultra models in previous years should have remained. Thanks for joining us.